Hi, in this video we are going to talk about sort in C++ STL. Sort is a general purpose library function for sorting any types of input. It is mainly used for sorting data stored in containers which allow random access. And example containers which allow random access are array, normal arrays, vectors, and DQ. These are some containers which allow random access. Random access means you can access ith item in constant time. So sort can be used to sort elements for all these containers. Here is an example of sort function. We have an array with these values 10, 20, 5, 7 and we call the sort function. So sort function in C++, it receives two addresses or two iterators. The first iterator or address is an address of the first element, right? So array name is C and C++, it gives you the address of first element. So your first address is address of 10. And the second address is the address after the last element, right? So this address is after the element 7. So if you talk about vector and dq, it's going to be uh, v dot end, right? v dot end be because it gives you an iterator pointing to an element beyond the last element. So that is why for arrays, we do not pass array plus n minus 1 because that will give you address of last element. But we pass array plus n. That gives you the address of an element beyond the last element. This sort function is defined in the algorithm library. We have two ways to call the sort function. One is just passing two iterators and this way sorts your input array in increasing order by default. And there is another way where you can specify an order. So I've called two ways here sort by passing two parameters and by passing three parameters. So the third parameter specifies the order in which you want these items to be sorted. It's mainly a function. So your third parameter is mainly a comparison function that decides how elements are to be compared. Greater function in C++ is a general purpose comparison function which reverses the order. So the general order in greeting order, greater function gives you decreasing order. So we now know sorting. We now how do we call it using two ways. Let's guess the output of this program. So the first sort will change this array to 5, 7, 10, 20. Right? And then you print content of this array. So you will get output as, so output of this program is going to be 5, 7, 10, and 20. Now you call this sort again with greater function as a parameter. So what greater function will do? It will cause this sort to compare elements in such a way that greatest element comes first. So output of this part after calling this function is going to be 20, 10, 7, 5. So this part sorts your array in decreasing order, right? That's what you get here. And this is done because of the sort call. And this sort call changes your input array to increasing order. And that's why you get this output. Let us now talk about an example to sort a vector. We are given a vector and we want to sort it. So this vector initially contains four elements, 5, 7, 20, 10. We call the sort function. In sort function, we can call two ways. First way is passing two iterators, where the first iterator points to the first element and second iterator points to an element beyond the last element, right? So we pass v dot begin and v dot end here. In case of arrays, we pass the address of first element and address of an element after the last. So v dot begin and v dot end, and by default, we get the elements in increasing order sorted. So this line, prints the output as 5, 7, 10, 20. Here we have called the sort function again, but we have passed another parameter, third parameter, 
which specifies the order of sorting and greater function is typically used to reverse the default order default order is increasing order and greater is going to change it to decreasing order so the output after the sort called is 20 10 7 and 5 so when you pass the greater function as an argument it reverses the order and you get the array in decreasing order so this for loop prints this part and this for loop prints this part as an output we have talked about simple sorting where we were sorting in increasing order and decreasing order let us now talk about an example program where we want to specify our own order i've considered a structure which represents a point in 2d space where x and y coordinate values and i have written my own comparison function here which is used to sort these points in increasing order of their x coordinates right so this is my own comparison function and this is a structure we are going to sort an array of this structure so we create an array of the structure and now we call the sort function using same parameters array and array plus n address of first element address of an element beyond the last element and we pass our own comparison function the third parameter after sorting all the elements of this array will be sorted according to increasing order of x value so when you print the output you are going to get the output as so you have three values so the first smallest x value is 2 8 so you will get 2 8 then you, the second smallest value 3 10 then the last value 5 4 so your points are sorted in increasing order of x values now say you want to modify your order and you want to sort them according to y values what changes you will make in this program you will simply modify your my comparison function and you will put y here and the output is going to change the output is going to change and this time we are going to get values in increasing order of y values right we are going to get 5 4 first then 2 8 then 3 10 now say we want to further change our program we want to print all the points in decreasing order of y value so what changes you will make you will change your comparison function to this form now it will sort all your points in decreasing order of y so what will be your new output your output is going to be 3 10 the largest y value then the second largest y value 2 8 and then the third largest y value 5 4 this is output of this modified program let us now talk about time complexities and internal working of sort function sort function internally uses quick sort and if you talk about more details it is a hybrid of quick sort heap sort and insertion sort by default it uses quick sort and if quick sort is doing unfair partitioning and going to take more than n log n time it switches to heap sort and when your array size becomes really really small it switches to insertion sort so worst case performance and average case performance of sort function is n log n also the number of comparisons it does it's n log n so it's an n log n algorithm which is an optimal time for any general purpose sorting function and it internally uses intro sort 